Alright. Got some co-op going. Oh god. We got some co-op happening because I wanted to get my humanity back. Let's hope this guy doesn't die. He's been pretty good so far. Just don't stand oh, don't stand in front of him. Stand under his legs. Oh god, he pulled his arm out. This is this is oh shit, he's coming after me. Oh that roll. Alright, this guy's dead. There we go. Oh yeah. I can't praise the sun. <laughs> Good job guys. Good job guy. Righto. Righto. Got a token of fidelity. So yeah, if you do do co-op, as I said, you gain you gain humanity back and I should be human now. Yep, I am human. So thank you to that guy for summoning me. And Oh god! What the fuck? What the hell? Oh my, I thought I was fucked. Okay. So yeah, hello guys. So I was doing uh, Hades, Hades Tower Flame. And I wanted to be human. To see, because the first half of the game I wasn't really, I wasn't human most of the time because I kind of died. <laughs> Where did that guy come from? I don't even know. But anyways, the reason we're here... It's not because we're doing co-op. Well, there's one reason why I was here. It's, it's to do co-op. But whenever you do co-op like that... Uh, you gain you gain hum humanity back. So I, I died last time, as you saw. I fell off the cliff, and I was going hollow. Now, if you do if you do co-op, you gain some humanity, and you turn human again. And I, I want to say humans, just to summon people... Just because I, when I first played the game on Xbox, I didn't really summon a lot of people. Because I wanted, I kind of wanted, wanted the game to be a little more difficult. I did, I only summoned for a couple bosses like Smelter Demon, because he's a douchebag. But, uh, right, so first thing, we came back, there's a couple, couple things I want to clear before we continue Hades Tower Flame. So if you notice in the Ballista Room, in the forest, there is a uh, Pharaoh's Lockstone Door. If you don't have a Ferris Lockstone, you can always buy one from Malentia. Uh, if you talk to her and go to her inventory, she has a Ferris Lockstone right here. So it lets you activate Ferris Lockstone doors. So I already have one. I was farming souls just just to pay enough, and then I checked my inventory and I figured out I had one already. So right here, I might I might buy that one from her. I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's necessary. So there's a couple. Th there's two things I want to get before we continue our adventure. So let's go back to Cardinal Tower, and I'll show you where to get a stamina regeneration ring. A lot of people kind of miss this because they don't have a Ferris Lockstone at this point. Unless you pick, unless you click an explorer, then yeah. I, th I think on my first playthrough I had to come back also because I want to see what's in the uh, door. I actually don't even know where I got this first. I don't even know where I got the lockstone, my first one, so kind of surprising. Oh, it's gonna hurt. All right. Hey, I, I, chill. Thank you. you Drop something. Life gem. What a what a badass. Dropping life gems. So let's head on down. We had to clear the ballista room again. My favorite part. Walk on in. That guy should die. He did. I love it. Then you climb on up. Are they coming out yet? Yep, there they are. Fucking Blues Brothers. So, I can't really target them. Come on. There you go. Got one. Got two. Uh, that's how that's how I like to clear this area because early on they hit pretty hard. Firebomb! Oh, nice, thanks. Nice firebombs. I think because I have that thing on. 
Oops, I took it off. Merchant yeah, raises item discovery. Okay, should be another guy here. Should be two more guys. Let's see, there's one over there. Should be another guy here. I don't know, I don't know where he is. Yeah, I think he's on the left. Let's see. There's usually, there's usually four total. Yeah, there he is. Wait, did I see him? I guess not. Usually there's four. Okay, never mind. It's fine with me, man. So, to get the uh, Ring of Regeneration, you want to come down here. Oh, he's down there. Why do you fall down? Okay, kill that guy. And then, we want to climb down here. I think there's two enemies in this room. Let's clear them out so I don't get backstabbed. And this ring is really helpful for any class, really, because stamina, um, like I said, in Dark Souls 1, your spells didn't really use stamina, but in this game, every kind of sorcery uses up your stamina bar, so having any kind of stamina regeneration is always good. So you open that, and it opens up a, it shows a face here. You can't open, you can't open this illusionary wall unless you use a lockstone, so you want to punch it, or hit it. And then, just gonna make sure, no mimics. I don't even know, man. Every time I've said, oh yeah, this chest can't be a mimic, and I freaking open it, and it's a mimic, and I kill it kills me. So that's a chlor chloranthi ring. Regenerates stamina. We want to put that on, since we have no more slots. We have, well, we have one more slot. And not enough rings. So this, let's see, raises stamina recovery speed. Very helpful. And then this, let's see what the, what's in here. I didn't hit this chest. Titanite slab. Oh, that's pretty good. Titanite slabs let you level up your uh, your equipment. I think that's like past level six, or is that level? Or is that ten? I, I don't I don't remember. All right, so we have one more ring to get, and it's it's in the very beginning of the game, in the things betwixt. And this one's kind of risky because I, f I think I'm a little under leveled to get the ring because you have to kill a certain mob. But we'll try it. We'll try our best. We have sorcery, so we should be good. So let's go on to things with Twix. Firekeeper's dwelling. I might even show how to get the ladle. Because why not? Sublime Bone Dust. We haven't got that yet. Sublime Bone Dust increases your. Uh, Your SS flask, like recovery. You can have plus. You can have all the way up to plus five. So I went the wrong way already. I had to go back to this way. So what you want to do is head here. Open this door. You can fast open it by rolling after the door is open. Like so. Oh well. You, I guess you can only do it if a door pushes it pushes in. So if you noticed before, there was a area on the left here. Leading to, well, I don't think I, I don't know if I showed showed it, but look at these footsteps. It leads to a troll over here, and if you kill the troll, he drops a ring that. <coughs> see how much damage we do. We do, a, not, we do a lot of damage. Not bad. Now, this guy is a dick. I, I had a had to kill him normally for as as a melee. Back when I uh, started playing this game, he killed me like so many times. It's unreal. But you want you just exploit the size, exploit his size. He can't come under here. If he can, that's bullshit. Okay, he's dead. He drops a ring. It's called a stone ring, and this decreases the enemy's poise. Or actually, I think it increases your poise damage. Yeah, additional reduction of enemy poise. It's greatly reduced enemy boys. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna take off the blue seal ring for more poise damage. Sure, less health, but I don't really care. Life ring is good enough. Okay. Now I think we have to kill the other two giants to get the ladle, which we could try. Let's see, let's talk to her. The old women. Okay, yeah, it's just the other giants. 
Let's go kill them. We'll try. <laughs> it's kind of hard to kill these guys because they there's two of them and they attack it to, uh, at the same time. So let's see. I think it's over here. Do I have any silky stones? I don't. I thought I had. I must have dropped it off already. Yeah, those giants over there, trolls. They're oh, I hate those guys. Having to kill them in melee range is like is so risky. Cause they're so strong. We'll try our best to aggro one. Oh, and you got the other one. Hi. They can. I think they could walk over there. I th last time I killed them, I got lucky and one fell off. Oh damn, he's coming. What's up, player? How's it going? Fall off, please. Okay, he's not falling off. Ooh, they're big. Just gonna climb up. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, he's coming now. Oh. <laughs> he's like, boy, he knows my only weakness. Ladders. Alright, this guy should be dead. Great soul ladder does... Oh, I almost fell off. This... Oh, that guy dropped down. I just killed this dude. Oh, can't aim that way. Right in the butt. Alright, both dead. I don't know if they actually drop anything. Or if they're guarding anything. Okay, is there anything back here? No? Okay. They're an enemy. Alright, anyways. So since we killed those guys, we can go back to the lady. So if you do get in this coffin, this coffin changes your gender. I won't get it. I won't get into it now. But if you're wrong, change your gender. That that's just a, that surprised me when I first. I think I was playing. I was up to uh, Earthen Peak, and I became a human because I wanted to summon for the uh, one of the bosses there. And uh, I remember taking off my armor, to, like my helmet, to change to a, like a stronger, uh, upgraded one that I got, and my character was a woman. I was like, what? I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I looked it up and like, why did my character change genders? And I remember going to that coffin. So anyways, let's talk to this lady. You have proven yourself to the forest. We have little to offer, except perhaps these. Handmade ladle. May they bring fortune to your journey in some small way. So if you kill those two trolls by the water, she gives you the handmaid's ladle, which is uh not very good. I can we I can wield it, but it's not very good. <laughs> let's look, let's take a look at it actually. Never actually used this. It's, it's a soup ladle. I was using this one this morning. How how heavy is this ladle that makes that much noise when you swing it? All right, anyways. Oh no! I want to light a. I don't want to light a torch. So let's let's level up a little bit. I could use some leveling. I have about ten thousand souls. We're gonna get even more because there's uh, two bosses we're gonna be fighting. I don't know if it'll be in this video, but there'll be two bosses. So let me level up real quick. Uh, let's see. What should I take? I think I'm gonna take more intelligence, obviously. So let's, let's let's bump this up to twenty. I think I do. I need twenty in faith for for um. Let me, just, let me look this up real quick. So let's take those twenty intelligence. I want to see because I want I want to eventually start using hexes, and um, I forget what you need for hexes. Do we have a? I don't know if we have a hex yet. No, we don't. I think it's faith and intelligence. Let me see. Way I can check this is if I go to here. Let's see, dark. Influence of faith and intelligence on dark attack scales with the lower of these two attributes. Oh, okay, so the lower attribute is what influences 
how much damage you do. So I do want to level uh, faith, which is fine because I, I need I need for hexes anyway. So let's level up faith. Why, why not? I don't really need attunement yet because I don't have enough spells or spells to use. I think the next attunement is 18, like to get the next slot. So I will. Maybe I should do adaptability. My vi my my vigor and endurance is pretty low. I'll do those after. Uh, so I guess yeah, I'll put one point in faith. Why not? There is a character later that you do want to have. I think 20 faith, 20 intelligence. He gives you pretty good pretty good stuff. So now that we're up updated, upgraded, leveled up, let's go to Hades Tower Flame and continue continue our journey. So Hades Tower of Flames is one of my favorite areas. Favorite beginner areas. It's pretty fun to begin with. Now I'm I, I tried fighting these guys with magic earlier. They have too long of a reach for me to be effective. So I'm just gonna two use my sword here. These guys are a lot easier in melee range. So I'm a two hand right here. As I said, you wanna have your shield up if you are expecting damage. And if it's if you're not expecting damage, have your shield down so you can restore some stamina. Now, let's take care of this guy is more suited for magic. <laughs> because he has no shield. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Okay, you are a dick, and you're gonna take magic to the face. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come, up, I'm gonna up here. I don't like, I don't like your kind. This guy's hit hard. Yes, yeah, suck it. Ooh, he dropped a sublime bone dust. What a beast! Sublime Bone Dust are. They increase your, uh, your Estus Flask healing. Soul of a name of soldier and human effigy. I feel confident enough that my my health will heal itself. Uh, so I'm not even gonna waste Estus. Hit this guy low. I like how he can guard an attack that's being hit on his leg. I'm using way too many soul arrows. <laughs> Great soul arrows. These guys have like the greatest angles of attacking. They can hit you with the second swing. Always. Like, especially the third one too. Okay. So once you kill that guy, he'll drop... He'll open up the lever here. You could open it. It makes, it makes it the next boss fight a lot easier. There's also a glitch. You can see him right there. Look. The next boss standing there. <laughs> now the reason you pull this is because uh, it opens up the arena. There is a there is like a, a a speed running tactic where you can have the dragon rider like fall off the ledge and shit. I wouldn't be doing that because I never tried it, but I've heard I've heard stories. So once you pull the lever, it should yeah adds another layer to the boss arena, which is nice. Now this next section is kind of tough but since you have sorcery or even if you have a bow I, you know, I never tried the bow let's try the bow I'll go above 50 but I'll take it off oh I can't even use it because my dex is not high enough I think if you two-hand it nope still not okay never mind I'll just stick with sorcery so you want to attract one at a time let's get the big boy first Might as well keep pelting him with magic for now until he comes. Okay. Now I want to make sure of my surroundings. I don't want to fall off like a like a din poop again. All right. Once this guy's dead, the other two guys should come running. Oh, here they come. These guys are pretty hard to to kill. So I'll try my best. I wish I had I wish I had pyromancy at this point. <laughs> Looks like you don't start with pyromancy at the beginning. 
Oh, let's fight down here, bros. It's more space. Might even just run past him. I'm telling you, man, these guys are these guys are these guys are scary. And they have their shields up. You guys suck. Look at that, my healthy generator already. Okay, I thought that guy was turning back. I'm just gonna run past you guys. God damn. He has his shield down. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Right, I'll fight you guys in the in, in the church. While I backpedal. These guys are pretty hard. As I said, the 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 beginning areas of the game are pretty they're pretty tough. You don't have a lot of health. You don't have a lot of You don't have a lot of healing. Which one is just weaker? It has the same health. Let's run. Let's get some distance. Ah, oh, you're both guarding now, huh? I'll fight you one on one. It's fine with me. Alright, the guy's leaving. It's like, he's like, have, the, have fun, bruh. That was a mistake. Okay, alright. 1v1. You and me, bro. Oh. Okay, you're dead. Woo! That was, a, that, was, that was a battle for the ages right there. Time to take out your homeboy. As you can see, as you can see their weakness is, is circle strafing. I'm gonna play it safe and just take two attacks. I'll finish off with the three hits. There you go, he's dead. Alright. Praise the sun. Well, now once you kill those guys, another lever opens up. Let's pull this one. I think it opens, makes a, the third layer. Yeah, so you can't you can't fall off anymore. I don't think. Now I don't know how I'm gonna do the next fight because I'm so used. To, like the thing is with sorcery, I'm not I'm not really used to it. If that makes sense, like I'm not used to ranged battles. It plays a lot different when you when you're a ranged character. Um. Because for melee, I'm like so used to like being up in people's faces and whatnot. Just make sure my back is covered so I don't roll off like a retard. That's gonna hurt. Oh, don't don't do it. Bait his attacks. Bait his attacks. Okay, he's dead. There should be a uh, NPC summon here if I'm. If I'm correct, is there? Of your mom. Well, that's not an NPC. <laughs> I thought there was an NPC that you can summon here. Junga. I guess not. I thought there was. I like summoning people. Master. Masterless Glencore. That guy has a weird name. Alright, so I guess there is none. I don't think Masterless Glencore is an NPC. I always hit, every time I see a bloodstain in front of a chest, I always hit it. Just in case. That guy has a fat roll, and he rolled off. <laughs> Green Blossom, that's pretty good. Restores your stamina. Okay. Is that really, is this an NPC? Doesn't seem like it. I don't even know, man. Are you an NPC? I mean, I don't need a summon for this fight. I'm just be cool to get some co-op, some jolly cooperation. So we'll try this fight without. We'll tr we'll try it without a uh, a person to help us. Now let's see. Do I need to take any restoring spells? I don't think so. Um, other than that, I think we're I think we're pretty much good. Yeah, nothing really else I can use. I could use these. He's, I think he's weak to magic, but I, I don't want to use these. 
So that's no real point. Uh, ten should be enough, actually. So let's just fight this guy. We'll try. He's he's pretty tough for uh, for the beginning fights. Yeah, it takes a lot of stamina off. So whenever I have a chance, I'm gonna hit him with a soul a soul spear. Cool. Yeah. See. Whenever he's vulnerable like that, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my shot. Do it. I thought he was gonna do a double swing. As I said, shield down when you're not expecting damage. Alright. Come on, bruh. Hit me. I want you to hit me. Gonna roll out of that because it's gonna fuck my stamina up really hard. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Do it again. Do it again, bro. I'm gonna heal. Alright, just waiting for uh for waiting for an opening. Like that. You can't shield? Only I can shield. Going for backstabs here. Two should I, should I go for the two? I went for the two! And it hurt. Never go for the two. Never go for the two. It's not worth it. Don't get greedy. That's how you die in this game. Seriously, never go for the two. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, attacking there, but I don't. I wouldn't have enough stamina to roll. You know what's funny? He could turtle and kill you because he has a spear. You can attack while uh, having the shield up with a spear. Wait, no, he has a halberd. Never mind. Oh man, great soul arrows. Shit. Let's go melee. My magic does so much more damage. It's because I have intelligence. So yeah, his weakness is uh obviously circling. Staying staying to the left of him. So he can't even do damage. And he's dead. There we go. A heal right on top of your body. And Dragon Soul Rider is dead. Hurrah for silence! Bonfire head. Indeed. There's a bonfire up here. And there's an NPC we want to talk to. Right there. So let's light the bonfire. And we could go level up. Which I think we will do. After we talk to this lady. Let's see what this says. Liar. <laughs> Are you from these parts? My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. All right, so if you keep talking to her, she will eventually move to Majula. So she sells the Cleric's Sacred Chime. I think this is the starting catalyst. I think we have that. She also sells the Increased Faith, the Ring of Prayer. Which is pretty good. I should have bought that on my other play too. I totally forgot. And she also sells Miracles. Heal. Med, med, med Heal. Uh, great Heal Excerpt. I think she has a, a Heal to Heal. Um, does she? When you... Do you co-op, you can heal other people? Is that it? Yeah. Is, is this one? No. That's poisons. Uh, affects both the caster and nearby allies. There's a spell that lets you heal your allies. So. Guidance. Alright, so she has nothing really we want. I'd heard awful rumors about this place. And I'm afraid they were all true. The king. Gone. The earth. Ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. I fear that, by now, they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. Why did I come here? Well... Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? No. <laughs> My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my 
only wish. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is... well... I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Right? Without any goings on. She's like the first she's like the only human we've seen. To a place I could gull the Sorry. Help the gullible by teaching the good word. <laughs> I expected this could okay. without any to a place. Sorry. Now that she's done. No need for miracle. The gods frap. I think she Just she should. That's why. Let's see. Did we exhaust all her I dialogue? Expected yeah. Okay. Without any to a place. I think if we rest at this bonfire, she should not be here. Yeah, she disappears. So let's go back to Majula and level up a little, and I'll uh, call the video here. It's Thirty minutes long. Want to keep it a little short. So I'll show you. I'll show you where she shows up. She actually shows up in the area for a little later on in the game, but you can actually open it now if you have enough uh, souls. Uh, let's see how much she needs. She's, she is by by this. So if you remember, if you remember this area, this is how you get to Hades Tower Flame. On the right, you take the path. So since we don't need that way anymore, we can talk to her. Oh, this room is not as it seems. There are two, not one, pathways leading out. And only this lovely thing, and this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? So you can ask her to open the path. I think it's 2,000 souls? That's not actually, that's not bad. I might, I might pay for it now. Sure, open it. So it closes that it closes that door. We don't really if you ever need to go back there, just go back to the Hate Tower of Flames bonfire. And she'll move the contraption and open this area. Go ahead. May the power of me offer your souls to Are we strong enough to go this way? Let's see. If I remember this area. This is a really well not really a late game area, but like early, late early game, if that makes sense. So let's see. There is. I know there's an enemy here that poisons you. And I forget what. The, I think this leads to. Where does it lead to? I forget. We're about to find out. I think it's Harvest Valley? Is it? I think so. Or is this Huntsman's Copes? There's an NPC here, right there. Let me see what area this is. is Huntsman's. Oh, yeah, Huntsman's Copes. Okay. We'll let this bonfire. This will be later. We'll do this. We'll do this area later. Undead refuge. I freaking hate this place. This is like one of the areas I. Fr oh man. I fucking hate this place, man. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this guy. I forget his. I forget who he is, but he's a. Uh, if you ever want to get into hexing, this is a man you talk to. I don't know who you are, but believe me. Being As I said, uh, I think you need. I think you need 20 intelligence and 20 faith, and he gives you uh, an armor set, which is pretty good. I'm interested in one thing, dog. You haven't the gift. Believe me, I'm interested. Yeah, so we need more. I think we need more faith. I don't think my dark's high enough. Oh, I think you need 10, 10 faith maybe. You need something. I know that. Cool on the two. So let's go back to Majula. I'll never. I hate Huntsman's Cope so much. You have no idea. I hate that place. It's the worst. Oh, we also have a. Uh, oops. Let's level, let's level up first. I don't. I don't think we have access to flash charge. No. So let's level up. I think I'm gonna take more intelligence. Can I even get to ten? I can get to ten. I don't think it's worth it. Uh. Let's get intelligence. We'll put two. Then let's start taking some some vig endurance, and that should be fine. Maybe I'll put one there, and maybe take an attunement. 
Alright. Pretty good. Let's see if we can level up our weapons. I kind of... I'm not going to level up my armor because I don't know if I'm going to be using this <gasps> until later on. Uh, let's see. What can we use? So we can level up our, our fire sword. I might do that. Our staff requires large titanite shards and... Uh, I mean, I could level this up. I don't know how long I'll be using it, though. Like, I don't really... Really know what sorcerers would use. I know there's like, like sorcery sets. I'll have to look up, like robes and shit. Uh, so I guess I will level up my sword. Why not? We're gonna be using our sword for a bit later on, so we'll level up as much as we can. Two is not bad. Skills with uh, fate and intelligence. Okay. Also strength and and dex, but I don't know if I'll put any more points to that. We'll see. So we're done. We're done for now. Let's go back to Hades Tower of Flame. We have one more boss fight to to do. Uh, which way is the shortest? I would think Tower of Flame might be shorter to get there. Dull Ember. An Ember radiating a dull owl. Alright, back to Tower the Tower of Flame. So we, can go, we could go that way. It leads to another area, which uh, we will do. But first... We're gonna, head, we're gonna head back the way we came, and there's another boss in that cathedral right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next part. Thank you so much for watching.